One of the ways on how to make your digital planner more realistic is to add flipping tabs or turnable tabs. And that is what we are going to talk about today. If you want more tips, tricks, and all things digital planning, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit the bell icon so you'll be the first to know when I release new videos. And of course, smash that like button if you love digital planning as much as I do. So let's start. I am currently in my Keynote app and I already created a slide layout of a basic notebook here. And if I zoom in, you can see that I added additional pages to make the digital planner more realistic. You can add more pages and arrange them closer to one another to create a thicker look on the volume of the pages. Now I am going to show you how to add tabs. Tap the plus icon and in the shapes under the basic category, I will be using this to add a rectangle with rounded edges. If for example, this notebook is for a yearly planner and I want 12 tabs in the side, what I will do is I'm going to copy this one and then paste. I want the tabs to slightly overlap to one another so I'm going to change the color of the other tab. I'm going to use this color for now just so I can see where the other tab ends and the other one begins. I will also add a shadow for the tab to make it more realistic. A very useful tip when doing this part of the digital planning creation process is to make sure that your guides are turned on and you can check that in in the more option under guides. You can play around on which guide you can turn on but I usually leave them all toggled on or all toggled off. Let's leave them toggled on for now. Also, since I created the planner as a slide layout, all the tabs that I will be adding will also be in the slide layout. If you made the basic layout of the planner in the slide presentation, then all the tabs that will be added should also be in the slide presentation. So now let's reposition this tab. Use the guides to make sure that your tabs are aligned. Then select these two tabs and then copy then paste. You will reach a point where you haven't added all the tabs yet but the space is already occupied. If so, select all the tabs then group them, then resize. Ungroup the tabs, then select some tabs again, copy and then paste. After adding all your desired number of tabs, group all the shapes again, then resize to fit all the tabs. Once I have arranged all the tabs together, I am now going to change their colors. Tap the shape and then in the brush icon under style, change the fill color. We currently cannot add colors to Keynote based on their hex codes, but I found a workaround for this problem. Screen grab or download the picture containing your desired colors and save them in your photo library. In Keynote, tap the plus icon. Under the photo icon, tap photo or video. Then select the image. Tap the shape you want to change the color, tap the brush icon, and under fill, select the color category. Then swipe to the left, then use the color picker and choose the color you want for the selected shape. After changing the colors of all the tabs, let's add a label on the tabs. To do that, just double tap the shape, then type in the label. And to change the orientation of the shape, let's toggle on the vertical text. Also, change these options here. Once all the labels are added, let's arrange all the tabs. The first tab that I will arrange first is the lowest one and I'm going to reposition it behind the last page. To do that, tap the shape and on the brush icon under arrange, adjust the slider here. If the text is partially hidden or you don't like how it looks, just select all the tabs, then reposition. Since I only have three pages for the basic layout of the planner, 
all the tabs except the first and second tabs will be behind the last page. For those tabs, I'm still making sure that they are arranged properly. For example, the August tab should still be on top of the September tab, the June tab should still be on top of the July tab, and so on. Before we go further, let's duplicate this tab, and on the duplicate, let's rename it as first. If you reach this part of the video, I want to let you know that you are amazing and I am personally inviting you on a private Facebook group that I recently created just for you. This digital Facebook group is a creative environment for all tips, tricks, and all things digital planning and it is open to everyone whether you are a complete beginner or a pro. You can check the link in the description box below and on the pinned comment. Let's go back to the video tutorial and select the original slide layout. To make this tab into flipping tabs in your digital planner, select all the tabs, then copy, and then paste. Now reposition these tabs to the other side of the page. Use the guides again to make sure that the two sets of tabs are aligned. This time, let's start at the top and change the text arrangement. To change the orientation of the text, we can use the rotate option here and set it to 180 degrees. The other way is to tap this flip horizontally, then tap flip vertically. Then move this slider again to change the arrangement. And since this doesn't look good, I am selecting all the tabs and repositioning them again. The arrangement for the tabs here on the left side is opposite to that on the right side. Here, the February tab is on top of the January tab, the April tab is on top of the March tab, and so on. Once you are satisfied with the tabs on the left side, we are going to duplicate this slide layout. Let's rename this as second. The first duplicate we created a while ago will be used for the pages for the January section and the second slide layout will be used for the February section. And since we will be in the February section, the January tab will be on the left side and the rest of the tabs will be on the right. So let's delete the January tab on the right and delete all the tabs on the left except the January tab. Let's duplicate the original slide layout again and rename it as the third slide layout. This will be used for the March section so the January tab and the Feb tab will be on the left side and all the rest of the tabs will be on the right. So let's delete all the other unnecessary tabs and also remember to reposition the tabs here to make it look like the pages are actually moving from the right side to the left side. And we'll just continue the process until we finish all the tabs. This may look like a hassle at first, but if we have a higher number of flipping tabs, I think the process will be easier and faster with this method. This video is only about how to add the flipping tabs in digital planners, but if you want to create a complete digital planner from zero to more than 100 pages, you can check this video out. And if you have any questions about the topic in this video or digital planning in general, feel free to comment them down below. Also, don't forget to join our private Facebook group for more tips, tricks, and all things digital planning. This is Kazel, and until next time, bye!